Today is also a very special day for me because one year ago, that day, my spiritual master, His Holiness Kadamba Kanana Swami, left his body, left his physical realm. We don't call it passing away or death because for the soul, there's not such a thing like death. We have the body, we have a mind, but we are the conscious being within, the soul within. And he, as a spiritual master, he was a sannyasi, he lived very austere, he traveled a lot, he had many disciples, he gave love of God, he awakened the dormant love within us. He was always accessible, he was always there, he gave amazing classes, he could lead us into kirtans, mantra meditation. He was so personal, it's not like a guru, you think like, okay, you pay him something and he gives you some mantras and you never see him again and then you enlightened. No, this relationship between disciple and the spiritual master is very deep, not only for this life, it has an eternal relationship. And guru is not just a person, guru is a principle. So we find gurus in so many ways, our parents, our teachers, and maybe we take the path to spiritual life, so we accept a guru in the form of a spiritual master. And that's a very important factor in spiritual life. The way he left this world, what amazed me the most was because he was not lamenting or desiring anything. He was on the Brahma Buddha platform, completely transcendental, on a platform where there's no wishes anymore. There's no desires, no hankering, no lamentation. Just pure bliss. He understood he's not the body. He had cancer until the last breath. He was chanting the holy names of the Lord. He gave instructions. He was online. I just listened to his last message where he really made us understand what is really important in life and how can we attain perfection in this life and after that. So by examples like this, by great saints, they show us the path how to live in this material world, how to leave the material world.